grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you for joining us online for our Maundy Thursday Reflections. To set the scene, I wanted to share with you one of my favourite paintings. It's called The Washing of Feet by Sega Coda. And as we gather together today on Maundy Thursday, we gather to remember and to reflect. If you're joining us from home, I hope that you found three things. And if not, then uh, listen to what they are, pause the video and go and find them. But the three things that we're going to ask you to have with you during our reflections this evening are, first of all, a bowl of water. And the plainer, the better. And we'll be using that as we reflect on Jesus washing his disciples' feet as depicted in this picture. The second thing that you'll need is something to eat and drink. Now, it might be that you have joined in with today's challenge, that you've been fortunate enough to find the ingredients and to have the time and to have a go at baking bread, in which case, please have before you the bread that you have baked and a glass of wine or of juice. But for what we're going to do tonight, it does not need to be bread and wine. It needs to be whatever it is that you might share with friends. So it might be a biscuit and a cup of tea. You see, we're not going to have the opportunity to share in communion. We're not physically gathered. We can't do that in the way that we're used to. But as we tell the story of the Last Supper, then we are going to invite you to eat something and drink something as an opportunity to re-enter into God's story to take up our place afresh in God's story as we tell the story. So before you, I hope you will have something to eat and something to drink. And finally, on this evening so filled with dark and light, we invite you to have before you some candles. And uh, if you'd like to light up your candles, then we'll have them burning as we tell the story together now. But later on, as we tell the story of Jesus in the garden, and as we recite the psalm that he himself spoke as he hung on the cross, we will, in recognition of the sense of gathering darkness as Maundy Thursday tips towards Good Friday, we will slowly extinguish those candles one by one. And so if you want to gather all of those things and uh, come back when you're ready, then we will start with a candle and a prayer. <laughs> 